Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make car floating and advanced lightning effect. I've shared this effect on my Instagram and many of you asked me to make a tutorial. So first what we are going to do is, duplicate the video and rename to, clean. We have to remove the car from a background first. Make sure to toggle off background layer and we have to mask the car next. To mask you can use pen tool or mocha AE masking tools. But, I will use roto brush. Grab a roto brush tool and double click on clean layer. Mask the car, selection shouldn't be perfect. Once you are done selecting the car, make sure to click on, invert foreground. Then click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Under the roto brush I will set feather to 10. Now go to content aware fill tab. If you don't see it there, go to window and enable it. Once you have enabled, copy my settings and click on generate fill layer. Wait a bit and it will remove the car from a background. Once it's done and we have a clean plate, Toggle on background layer and duplicate it, move it above all layers and rename to, car only. Grab a roto brush tool and double click on car only layer. This time we have to mask the car perfectly. Once you are done selecting, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Under the roto brush tool add feather, I will set it to 10. Press P on your keyboard to open position, change position of car only layer a bit to make a floating effect. Add rotation now. Click on position and rotation stopwatch icons, now go a few frames forward and change rotation a bit. Move rotation keyframe to the end of the layer and change position as well to create an animation of floating car. It looks cool to me. Now let's make lightning effect, create new solid layer. Name it, lightning. Add advanced lightning effect on lightning layer. Let's adjust lightning and we are done. Move lightning position under the car. Grab a rectangle tool now and draw a mask. I made a mask cause I want my lightning to hit only on the ground under the car. Go to lightning settings and increase alpha obstacle until it looks cool like this. Expand expert settings and set termination to 5%. Make sure to move lightning layer below car only layer. Correct the position of lightning by moving this dots and we can start adjusting the lightning. Expand Glow settings and set Glow to 0%. Let's add our Glow, I will use Deep Glow plugin for advanced look. If you don't have Deep Glow plugin, check this video to get my plugins for free, I will leave a link in description. Under the Deep Glow expand tint and enable it. Change color to blue. Change mode to soft light. Adjust exposure and radius on your wish. And once you are happy with the glow settings, we can start animating the lightning. Go to very beginning of your clip and click on direction stopwatch icon. Position your lightning on your wish. Then go to very end of the layer and change position again. I like it but, you can also adjust the lightning, play around with forking, turbulent and decay settings until it will look cool to you. Now let's darken the background. Select clean layer and add exposure effect on it. Reduce the exposure. Then copy exposure effect and paste it on fill layer. Let's add some more cool effects. Select car only layer and add deep glow on it, reduce exposure a bit. Let's add rays on lightning effect, select lightning layer and add godrays plugin on it. Check this video's description to download godrays for free. Reduce exposure. And play around with decay until it looks cool. Set length to 10,000. Now let's add rays effect on tail lights of this skyline. Let's add Mocha AE on car only layer and mask the tail lights. Once you have finished masking, enable perspective and click on tracking button. As the tracking is done, click on save button and close the Mocha AE. Under the Mocha expand mat and click on apply mat. Duplicate car only layer now, select bottom one and delete Mocha AE on it. Select top one and rename to tail lights. Add Godrays plugin on tail lights layer. After adding a god rays you may see this problem here, to fix it, delete god rays. Then pre-compose tail lights layer and add god rays plugin again. That's it, the issue is fixed and you can now adjust the rays on your wish. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.